up you guys welcome back to another video on my channel so today we are going to be um i'm just going to kind of talk about everything coffee i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram if you don't i'm going to link it right here somewhere um i'm always posting like a little bit of my coffee recipes or just my cups of coffee i am like a coffee fanatic like i love coffee so today i'm going to kind of show you guys some of my favorite ingredients that i like to use i guarantee they're the best um, I'm also going to give you guys a few recipes um, and how I make my own iced coffee at home and I'll show you guys once we get into that and then I'm also going to give you guys a little tour of my coffee station and show you guys exactly where everything is from and what it looks like and stuff because so many people always ask me where I get um, certain things from or whatever so we're going to find out today. Um, so first we're going to start off with the ingredients and my favorite ingredients um, to add into my coffee. So I am mostly a dairy free uh, kind of girl or whatever. Um, so my favorite milks to use and stuff to mix with coffee is oat milk. So I, this one's my favorite one, the Califia Farms oat milk. I do like oat milk over um, almond milk because I feel like this is a lot thicker. So. I feel like it makes your coffee a little bit creamier, so I do prefer oat milk over almond milk. Um, this is another brand that I also really like, Planet Oat. Um, and I like this one because it's, oh no, this is the original one, but they do have one that's like, ex, it says extra creamy. That's really good too. Um, so, Anthony is not so dairy free, so for him, I always like to use like half and half. Um, and for my coffees, you guys, I don't like to do just like a splash of creamer. Like I do like it to be pretty like thick. So I like to mix a bit of creamer with any of these three just because um, one, I do like to taste the coffee and not just taste the creamer, but it does kind of give it like a little bit of like a different flavor um, so that it's not too sweet. So I do like to mix all of my creamers with either of these things. If it's for Anthony, I'll use half and half. This is for all my people who are okay with dairy. Um, and then for those that are not. And then I also really like the Starbucks um, creamers the ones that i've tried is like the cinnamon dolce dolce latte or whatever um but this one for like the holiday season this is the pumpkin spice latte this one is really really good um i also make really really good um pumpkin cream cold brew dupes so if you guys want to see a video on that let me know i'm probably gonna do it anyway um but i do use a splash of this in the recipe that i do or that i use to make the um pumpkin cream cold brews um, but this is so, so good. I don't use a lot of it. I still mix it with um, actual pumpkin. But this is really good if you just don't feel like doing all the work. This is super, super good. But my all-time favorite right now, and I promise you, it's not just because of TikTok, um, is the Chobani. I say this like if it's a Spanish word. I don't know. But Chobani coffee creamer. And I like the hazelnut one. I also have the vanilla one. Let me grab that one. This one. I have a whole section in my fridge for just like coffee ingredients. But it's the vanilla one. I'm honestly, out of these two, I freaking love the hazelnut one. Like, even if all you're going to do is add a splash of creamer, I highly recommend. I used to not, I used to hate hazelnut creamers. I hated them. But this one is so freaking good. And in my um, pumpkin cream cold brew recipe, I also add a splash of this to give it like a little nutty flavor or whatever. Um, but yeah, so these are pretty much like the milk ingredients that I use or like the bases that I use for my coffees. But let me show you guys. Um my coffee concentrates that i use really quick let me grab those okay so when i'm making cold brews i love to use this chameleon cold brew concentrate oh my god you guys don't look at my nose and use this <laughs> i smashed my finger if you follow me on instagram i showed you guys my finger but anyways anyways so i like to use this chameleon um cold brew concentrate in the vanilla flavor i've tried the caramel and the original I don't like the flavor. They taste a little bit too um, bitter. But I do... Oh, shoot. Oh, that's my dog, guys. If you guys hear her crunching, she's going to eat, I think. Yeah. But I really, really like the vanilla flavor. This one is so, so good. And this is just iced coffee. So what I do is sometimes Anthony will crave just regular coffee, like regular on the coffee maker. Um, and sometimes we don't finish it all. So there'll be like a lot of it left over. So what I like to do is reuse these bottles when I finish these. I literally have a collection. I will, it's all the way up there, but um, I literally just pour lo que sobra, whatever, in the from the coffee and pour it all into one of these. And I just 
keep it in the refrigerator and it normally lasts for a pretty long time like i've had this one for like um three four days no actually almost a week maybe yeah and i just made an iced coffee with it this morning it's kind of like a cold brew when you the difference between like an iced coffee and a cold brew is that these are kind of like um what is that word they leave them in here like they leave the coffee for like over 24 hours like and it's cold so it just lets like the it marinates like that's the best word i can find like it, they let it marinate for like 24 to 48 hours so that's pretty much the difference this is just like they make it hot i mean so i guess you can see this is cold brew but anyways this iced coffee is really just coffee from the coffee maker that i pour in here but i do let it cool down i let it cool down and then i pour it in here so i don't just pour it in here hot um i do let it cool down for a few hours and then i just throw it in here and i keep this in the fridge for whenever someone's craving an iced coffee, this is what I use. If someone wants something a little bit stronger, I use the cold brew. Um, I literally was gonna make a whole menu today, but I didn't have a chance to go to Hobby Lobby. It's kind of far from my house. So what I wanted to do, because I already have like a few staple recipes that I use and I wanted to put it on my coffee bar, but I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. So maybe I'll incorporate it in this video if I don't end up uploading it soon. But anyways, I'm trying to debate what I'm going to show you guys today, but I think I'm going to show you guys just my simple cold brew um, recipe today. But before we get into that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the um, uh, coffee bar or whatever. I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a background. So I haven't really had this coffee bar for um, a long time. I just recently kind of did it. I've always wanted one forever, but me and Anthony lived in an apartment before, so I didn't have any room to like fix up a little coffee station um so this is kind of like what i did or whatever and i'll show you guys a few clips right now about what it lo looked like before and how we were like decorating it in three two one so this is pretty much my um, coffee bar station I have it kind of in the corner of my house so everything um, 
is pretty much like affordable except for the coffee machines but yeah this is pretty much it it's not 100 percent finished because there's still a lot of stuff that i do want to do to it oh my god this sun me está encandilando okay so there's still a lot of stuff that I do want to do to it, but I'm just going to show you guys what I already have. Um, yeah, I freaking love it. The only thing I can't stand is the cords in the back. So I'm kind of thinking of getting a new one of these that has the back um, tapado. So yeah, so let's start from the top. So this mirror, I believe, is from Home Goods or Target, one of those. But I know you can find them at either or, but I don't remember exactly where I got it from. These little planters right here are actually from Hobby Lobby. The little trees are from Target as well. And then the shelf that it's on is from Home Depot. That's kind of um, my favorite type of shelf. It's like a floating shelf. Um, I also want to put them upstairs, but I just haven't had a chance to go. These cute cups are only a dollar at Walmart. I freaking love them. These big ones, these are for like, um, like cappuccinos or even just hot coffees or whatever. And these little gold spoons, I always get scared of touching them. I don't want them to fall. But I use them as like little mixers and just kind of like as decoration. But those are from Target. And then these cute little Ikea, um, uh, these cute little espresso cups are from Ikea. They're literally my favorite. I love the clear ones just because they look so aesthetic or whatever. Um, and yeah, so my coffee machine is actually a Nespresso. I don't know the exact brand, but I'll have everything linked down below you guys as far as like my coffee machines and like any other stuff that I can link. Go ahead and check it down. Go ahead and check down below and everything that is right here will be linked down below so you guys have straight links to go and buy it. Um, so, okay, so this is an Nespresso. This is honestly my favorite. It is the best investment I have ever, ever made. I love it so much. Um, when I bought this one, it came with this little frother machine. So yeah, and I like this one because it's heated. So you can either do it heated or iced. Um, and this is actually a grinder. So this just grinds the whole coffee beans. It tastes so good. Um, this, this makes your coffee taste so fresh, especially if you're just drinking like plain black coffee or coffee with just like milk and um, like honey or something. This, like the way that this makes the coffee grounds or whatever. So good and you can smell it throughout your whole house. Um, the coffee machine that we have is a Ninja. We actually just got this one because we used to have a Keurig right here. But we honestly never, never used it. And I really did miss having just a standard coffee pot. Um, it's because a veces se te antoja like just like regular fresh brewed like coffee. Um, it reminds me of like going to like my tia's house or my mom's house or my grandma's house. Just having like a fresh smell of brewed coffee. Anthony's... Um, one of Anthony's tias, whenever we go and visit in California, this is a little side story, but she always makes like a fresh pot of coffee every morning. And sometimes, no más me antoja, like just regular, like I don't want anything super crazy. So this is honestly so cool because it also has the frother right here on the side. And you just press the button. I don't have it attached because I used it um, this morning. But yeah, and then it has like a little scoop for you to measure the exact measurements for your coffee beans. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for my coffee machines. And then down here, I have, um, Anthony's mom likes instant coffee. So back here, I have the instant coffee because she thinks these are too strong. Um, and then I just have regular cane sugar in this one. These are my favorite, um, brands for the sauces, like the caramel sauce or whatever that you can put around the cup. Um, and then back there, I do have some sugar-free vanilla syrup. You guys can see how the cords, I hate it, hate it. It, like irks my nerve but whatever i'll fix that soon um and then these two honeys are actually from a locals a farmer's market they're so good they both have like two different benefits um they're honestly so amazing when you make your coffee just plain again like i said with the fresh grounds a scoop of honey and then um some milk so then i do have my powders i have my pumpkin spice up there because i was showing it to you guys earlier um but this is regular coffee gr coffee grounds. Our favorite one is from Costco. This is just the house blend. Like it's the regular Kirkland one, but do not sleep on it. It is so amazing. I'm going to put you guys on right now. The whole bean, it is so, so good. Um, so these little jars are actually from Ikea. If you guys follow my um, TikTok or whatever, you guys would see that I redid my whole pantry. So I ended up needing one of these for the coffee grounds. So I didn't have to scoop it out the bag every time. So this is from Ikea. These little, um, what are they called? Like seasoning jars are also from Ikea. The ones I have behind my stove, um, they're the same ones. This one's just the pumpkin spice and then I have um, a cinnamon one. And then these are from Home Goods. This whole thing is from Home Goods. I got it so long ago, but I never really had a purpose for it um, until now. 
And then down here, I just have two little like platters for my to-go cups. And you guys, the other day I got a comment saying like, oh my god, girl, like why don't you use um, reusable cups, like whatever, like whatever you're using, plastic, oh my god, bitch, you're the devil. But anyways, like these we only use, not that I have to freaking explain myself, but, but these we literally only use them like if we're gonna go like kind of far or we're gonna be out and about throughout the day. Like I hate leaving cups in my car. Because then the milk just gets nasty. Really, chubby chips? <laughs> Hi, mom. So right here we have the iced coffee um, to-go cups and then just the hot coffee. I have my French press right there. My cup for the pour-over coffee, which is also really good. Um, and then in here, I'm going to show you guys. I have some espresso pots. So I have so many different ones. Um... I guess I'll kind of go over them with you guys. So these are the double espressos. So these are the ones that I like to make my cappuccinos with. Um, these are so good. All I do is I go on the Nespresso.com site and I order them straight from there. They're a little expensive. They're like a dollar something each. I mean, not bad. Like cheaper than a Starbucks. So <laughs> that's how I think of it. And then these are just regular espresso. And then if you go on the Nespresso site, you guys, it'll tell you exactly like the... Um, uh, what's it called like how strong everything is and the cup size and stuff like this is like a hazelnut one These are nasty. I did not like these and then over here I need to find like a little basket, but honestly no baskets fit in here because it's just too um, thin But then I also have my matcha mix right here from Trader Joe's But that is Excuse me, ma'am <laughs> Chavis wants to be in the shot but that is pretty much it, you guys, for my little coffee bar tour. So now, um, continue watching if you want to see my favorite go-to iced coffee recipe. Again, in three, two, one. Okay, so now that you guys have seen my whole coffee bar station, let me know what you guys think below. Is it cute? Is it not? Is there something that I'm missing or whatever? Or if you guys have any questions about like anything else that maybe I didn't mention, um, like where I got it from, um, go ahead and just comment below and let me know. So I'm going to show you guys the quickest, easiest, yummiest iced coffee that you will not need to go to Starbucks anymore. Ever since I learned how to make my own coffee, like Starbucks, I'll get it like once in a while. So I'm going to have something from there, um, but that's not all the time. So now literally like I'm obsessed with making my own coffee at home because it just tastes so good, like freshly made and it's like made with love or whatever. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my quick and easy um, iced coffee. Oh, sorry, mom. What's she doing? I have my little dog right here. She's like laying there. Hey, kick you. Oh, there comes Chad. Let me clear. Come here. Oh, say hi. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, say hi. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to need is obviously your milk base. So, oh my God, what the hell? Okay, so what you're going to need for this iced coffee is obviously a milk base. So I'm going to be using oat milk, but again, you can use almond milk, you can use half and half, or even just regular milk, whatever you prefer. Today I'm going to use oat milk because I do really like oat milk. Sometimes I do like half and half, um, but I normally try to keep it pretty simple with the oat milk just because my stomach doesn't do chubbies, <laughs> but my stomach doesn't do too well with like a lot of dairy. So I try to just keep it with oat milk. And then um, I know I say that my stomach, whatever, I can handle a little bit, but this does have dairy. Um, so the, I'm going to be using the hazelnut creamer, the Chobani one that I told you guys. And you could either use the cold brew or the freshly like homemade iced coffee that you make. And I'm actually going to make the iced coffee because I just have two. I forgot already. Okay, so I know I had the cold brew right here, but I've already drank two coffees today. And I've been really liking my iced coffee that I've been making at home. So all you're going to need is your iced coffee um, mixture that you have right here already. So this is all you're going to need pretty much. And then cinnamon if you want to top it off. You can also use the pumpkin spice. Um, the one from Trader Joe's is really, really good. But I'm just going to use cinnamon for today. So, okay. So first step is you're going to use your coffee. Um, you're going to fill it up to... This is pretty strong just because... Probably like to the first line. I'm using a little Starbucks cup, one of the plastic ones, and I'm filling it up to the first line. I like to crack the ice because then my straw can't get through. But that's all I'm going to do. I don't normally fill up this whole cup, by the way. <laughs> At least for me. You can. I know some people fill up their coffee like all the way up here, but I like to make them in smaller portions because then I don't finish it. And then you're just going to go ahead and add your milk. 
And this you're going to do to about the third line. Maybe a little bit over. And then you're going to add a splash of the Chobani creamer, the hazelnut. Again, you can also do the, um, the vanilla one. I really, really, if you have not tried the hazelnut one, I love this one. So you're going to do, see, look, se pega the ice. Okay, and then before I put, oh, I'm finished. Um, like taste test it so right now I feel like le falta a little bit of um, iced coffee so I'm gonna add a little bit more then mix it up again oh, that's my husband let's answer him actually hello Sir, what are you doing? I am filming a YouTube video oh really yeah so I added a little bit more coffee yeah I'm gonna just add a little bit of cinnamon on top and that is how you make the easiest iced coffee that'll kill your Starbucks addiction. Um, normally it comes out a little bit lighter, so I think this was either really concentrated or um, it wasn't as concentrated because I did need to add a little bit more because I couldn't really taste the coffee. With the cold brew, I normally don't have that problem, but when it's iced coffee, it's not as strong and I'm used to drinking espresso. Um, so yeah. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my little coffee bar. Uh, what's it called? My little coffee bar. Um, I don't know what you'd call it. Reveal, tour, whatever. And also my favorite go-to iced coffee recipe. If you guys try it, let me know and um, tag me on Instagram so I can share you guys. Um, everyone always shares my recipes and they do think that they're so bomb. So if you guys share them with me, let me know if you guys like them. Or whatever share it with me so i can share them on instagram girl i'm not even making sense this coffee is going through my blood the other day my cousin was like um saying that this is my uh my boss bitch potion and i'm like yeah that's my bbp right there so this is how you make the best bbp um right here girl stop spending your money on starbucks and start making your own coffee um it's honestly not worth it Anything they make at Starbucks, you can get, unless it's convenient, unless you're like on your way to work and you were running late or whatever, then head, take your little stuff to Starbucks. But if not, make it at home. It's literally so easy and it's so good and it's honestly kind of fun. Um, I'm pretty much a barista now. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did try or do try my recipe right here, um, please let me know. And I'd love to hear like everyone saying how much they love it or whatever. And if you guys have any other recipes that you guys would like to try or any whatever i am going to be doing more so just let me know um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video bye